everybody, let's go! We're little bees. We live in trees. And we love to play around. In caves and swamps. In caves and swamps. And really hot spots. And really hot spots. And houses underground. We're magic, you see. We're magic, you see. But those who believe. But those who believe. And we'll always be your friends. So come and let's play. So come and let's play. We've got all day. We've got all day. The good times never on time. We were just about ready to get started. So why don't you sit back and relax a bit while we do our thing? Now then, whose turn is it to pick out the story we'll be reading today? My turn. I know what book I want to read and I know what I have to do too. And what might that be? Pick out our helper. And right you are. So why don't you two be doing just that? I say, you two sure know how to pick them. This has always been one of my favorite books, The Ugly Little Duckling. Well, all right, then who will get us started? Why don't you start since you picked out the book? <laughs> well, that was so nice of you, Jenna. Isn't it nice when we all work together, don't you know? Well, my friend, let's begin. Okay, let's say funny time. On a beautiful day like today, a mother duck was sitting on her eggs, waiting for them to hatch. You want to talk about boring? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, aren't you the sweetest little ducks I have ever seen? Now, let's see if you are all here. One, two, I thought there were three of you. Oh well, one of you hasn't hatched yet. You two go off and play while I sit here and do nothing. And so the mother duck sat there minding the last egg. Hey, can somebody bring me a book or something? <laughs> <laughs> but eventually the little egg did hatch. Ta-da! Hi guys, I'm here. You look funny. You're nowhere as cute as we are. Now, even though the last of the three little ducks didn't look quite like the others, she was able to do everything her big brothers were able to do. She could laugh and swim, play and learn, and boy could she eat. But there was still something different about her, something the others could not help but notice. Hey, there goes that funny looking duck again. Ooh, look how ugly that little duck is. Leave her alone. 
She may not be the best looking duck in the pond, but she is kind and true as any of you. Maybe even better. You really think so, Mom? Of course I do. Then you don't think I'm really all that ugly? Well, you're not me or anything, but let's not push our luck here, okay? But still, none of the other little ducks would play with Effie. They weren't really trying to be mean. They just didn't realize how much it hurt her. And so Effie went off to play by herself. Uh-oh. Where am I? Where is everyone else? <laughs> hey, it's elephant season, isn't it? Sure is! And so with the hunters in the area, Effie found a place to hide and stay there through the night. By morning, she was very, very hungry, so she wandered up to the farmhouse, hoping that there might be something there for her to munch on. Oh my! I'm seeing pink elephants and it's still early in the day. I'm not pink, I'm purple. And I'm really just a big newton of your imagination. Oh no you're not. I know a purple elephant when I see one. And you look so hungry. Would you like to have something to eat? Yes please. Wait, right here. Funny looking animal. Can you lay eggs like my friend the hen? Or purr like my friend the cat? And so Effie decided to try and find her way back home. But when she finally found her lake, something was very different. Everyone had gone away. Hello? Hello? Everyone's gone to find a place to stay for the cold winter. I said for the cold winter. Boy, that was fast. Effie felt very sad and very lonely. And so, remembering the farmer's house and how warm it had been there, she set out to find it once again. But every house looked the same. Mm. Boy, all these houses look the same. And she was very scared. Boy, am I scared. And very hungry. Are you getting the picture here? And very cold. All right, enough already. And every house she went to, she found herself unwelcome. No elephants. Ow. <laughs> That was my nose. <laughs> you know, I don't think they like me. And so she returned to the lake and found a place to keep as warm as she could, coming out only to get what little she could find to eat. Hey, it wasn't my idea, okay? And so the winter went on and on and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on. <laughs> I can't seem to get a break here. Until one day the cold weather went away and spring came followed by her family. Wow, who's that? She's beautiful. You really think so? Sure we do. You look marvelous. They like me. They really, really like me. Don't you recognize her, boys? Why, this is your sister, Effie. It can't be. Last time we saw her, she was all... all... ugly. Yeah. Well, she's grown since then and has turned into a lovely young lady. Not as lovely as me, of course, but still lovely. And so Effie was accepted by all, and she lived happily ever after. And now, how about we celebrate? What do you say? 
celebrate. That's a great idea, but how? Well, first we'll put on our imagination caps, and then... The magic mural! Come on. See you there. Are you ready? I close my eyes and open my heart. Believe him from the very start that I can be anything that I dream. When I set my imagination free. today. Yeah! Bryce, I believe it's your turn to help pick out the little beast who will be helping us today. And Jenna, why don't you go and pick out a story? We'll all meet at the stage just as soon as we're ready, okay? Choice, a fine choice indeed. This book has been one of my all-time favorites. You say that about all the books. Well, I suppose I do, but that's because I haven't yet found a book that I didn't like. <laughs> well, shall we get started? Yeah! All right then, and who shall start for us? Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there are three little pigs. Who were the children of a poor woman who could not afford to keep them. So she sent them out into the world to seek their own fortunes. Huh? 
I'm the first of the three little pigs and I bought some straw from a kind old man to build my house out of. And so he did. I'm proud of my new home. I did it all by myself and I think I did a rather nice job. And then came along a big ugly wolf. Hey, who do you call an ugly? Certainly not you, my friend. Well, that's better. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Nuh-uh, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Yeah, well I'd like to see you try. And so the big ugly wolf took a deep breath and he blew down the little pig's straw house. Little pig met a man selling bundles of sticks, so she bought them and said, Oh boy, I'm a pig. Could somebody please call my agent? And the second little pig said, Fine, fine. Let's see. Okay, I got it. So I'm going to use these sticks to build a house like anybody cares. And so she did. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Yeah, right. Hm. Like I didn't see what you did last time. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And so the big ugly wolf took a deep breath and blew down the second little pig's stick house. <gasps> Look, I'm not really a pig. I'm a bear. Pretty bad at that. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. And the third little pig. <laughs> <laughs> in this story that you are. A lot of help you are. Will somebody please call my agent? <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. And the third little pig brought a load of bricks from the helpful old man. <laughs> Jane, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, anyway, I'll build my house stronger than my brother's. It won't fall down like their houses did. Oh, run away! Oh, my God! Chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Oh, oh, there's got to be a better way to do this. And so the big ugly wolf took what breath he had left and blew at the house. This is no way to make a living. Oh. Oh. Let me try this again. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the big ugly wolf tried once again. Let's 
try a different strategy here, okay? I'm all ears. That is, except for this fake nose. Now, that big, ugly wolf, he was a very clever fellow. But our little pig had dealt with his type before. Little pig? I know where there's a nice field of turnips. Ooh! Ooh! Where? In Mr. Jones' field. And if you'll be ready tomorrow morning, I'll call for you, and we'll go together and get some for dinner. Very well. I will be ready. What time do who you plan to go? Oh, it's six o'clock. Did I fall for the trap? Did he go with him to a turnip field? Well, Ollie got up at five o'clock, got the turnips, and was home before six. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.